everybody. Um, I'm all organized now. I think this time it would be easier for me to do a video because I'm getting slowly used to it. I really didn't know if I was going to make a haul about all the things I made or otherwise just a video again from Ethan when I dressed him. So I don't know. I think I'm first better get Ethan changed and then maybe after that I'll show you a few things that I made this week. So it's been a very hot day today and um, I had a lovely morning because I've kept crocheting, I mean, knitting a few items for the little baby from the family. We're going to have a newborn baby in the family. I'm going to be Granny for the first time. So it's all exciting. And yeah, it keeps me busy. I love doing hand work. I don't know what I'm going to put Ethan on tonight because it's very, very hot and I'll, I think I don't know if I should just leave him in the snappy like this because it's very, very hot. Ethan is um, a skull of Adris Tutus. You surely know Avery Stutters, but lovely sculpts, she's a beautiful artist. I think I'm going to wet it with me a little bit with this lovely um, this lovely you no know, tangles. It's uh, I didn't mix it with water though, I just use it as it is because it's very, very um, it's not very strong and it smells so lovely. So nasty. And even see it can be brushed so nice, it's, it's lovely. It's got a lovely swirl. Like last time I wanted to show you it in the video, but I don't even know if you can see it in just a I'm just going to go and check if you can see Ethan properly. Don't fall, my darling. Yeah, Ethan is fine. It's just a little bit, the camera must put a little bit higher. Like this. And then maybe better. Yeah. Okay. I'll bring him a little bit more near. I also have to organize a um, little tripod because it's easy to put the camera on a tripod. So excuse my English, I'm still learning to talk English properly. Because I'm originally from Belgium, as you know, and I speak Flemish and French. I learned my English in South Africa. I've been living in South Africa here for quite a long time. You know, but the thing is, I still don't speak English very good. After all these years, I say you can still hear that I'm a foreigner. I try my best. Look how lovely that is. I like to have this crew. And last time I couldn't find my brush. There you are. And I want to also show you beautiful spool he had but now that I've made another another egg brush so it's not it's not brushed the way it should be but it's still lovely look how lovely he looks hey it's very nice looking I actually want to try to take the um, video and see if I can maybe, maybe it's too late tonight because it's not a very good light. But I would like to show you the lovely uh, details he's got on his little feet. It's so beautiful. He's got 
you can see the little veins. I can actually see it on my camera now. It's showing very nice. By the way, talking about a camera, this is taken with a cellophane. And um, for my Christmas, uh, my son gave me a beautiful camera. So I won't have in the future no problem to make a beautiful video. But you can see the lovely details. I can see it myself. So if I can see it, maybe you can see it too. And the light is, um, it's like a, a daylight here, so it's already late, but you can see the nice details. It's beautiful, so, so natural. Even the, you can see now, look, even the little toes, the little nails, they are done very, very natural. You can, you can do a bit. I can't come too near because otherwise it's getting out of focus. And then um, I mustn't take it too long too because we've got a few minutes. Look, look at this little face. He's got such a cute little face. And he's got beautiful eyes. Yes. You can see the lovely hairstyle that he's got. I just brushed it. He's got a little mark, little bird mark in between the hair. You can notice it. I think I'm standing in the... I'm making shade, so once I'm making the shade, you can't see it properly. Okay, I'm gonna put it down. You can see in the back the um, candy slaying bee, playing with the little things that hanging in the camp cot. And then I got on the side here, yeah, another thing I must show you, I forgot to show you in the last movie. I make a lot of handwork, and this is made from an old duvet, duvet. Um, when I start making something I really don't know how I'm going to make it but as I make it I'm thinking about a few things and then it all turns out this is supposed to be a curry cut but then I thought to myself no Ethan is too big I'm going to use it as um, uh, a little basket where all the items are in, like the top powder and the brush and the nappies and the bottles, keep everything in. So it made a nice curry basket, which I like very much. Not bad. Then I also made um, a new inside here of um, one of those little curriers. I uh, covered and I made a seat completely by myself. I mean, I co covered it and um, it came out so nice that I'm going to make another one. I showed you last time and it was these dark colors, but I didn't like it, so it looks much better with light colors. And then um, I was so lucky, uh, my neighbor that had a little baby. She doesn't use any more this one here, so it's exactly the same but another cover, and I don't like the cover either. I'm going to also cover it and put a nice, I've got a little seat now for candy as well. And I've got another one, somebody threw it away, so I've got three of them. So if I make another kit, um, I'm going to start making my own babies now. In the next movie, I'm going to show you all the stuff I ordered by Bountiful Baby. And, um, okay, now I think I'm going to stop because this video is quite long and I think they're going to uh, not allow me to do it more than like a few minutes and I'm already over the time. I'll see you later then and, um, yeah, well. See how it goes and then I'll make another video later. Okay, bye!